Listen, sir, this is clearly not the best way to get work done. Oh, yeah? Well, you're fired. Huh? No. No, I just meant what he said. Sir, this is crazy. You can't fire him for that. You dare to question my judgment in front of all these people? Why are you firing me and giving these guys promotions? I could use a guy like you. As an example, you're still fired! It's crazy how some employees didn't realize that they had the chance to be fired even after they got their permanent worker status. They thought everything will be fine. Are you among them? One of the reasons is they can't comply the ethical behavior such as dining etiquette. Corporate dining etiquette is the proper table manners to be applied while eating at formal events such as company gathering. It includes the right way to handle utensils, eating accordingly, and some acts of prohibition. Although the formal events serve food, the main objective is actually networking and not eating. Unfortunately, some employees are unaware about this issue. They are not prepared or well trained. I'm Valkis would like to highlight the result of not being professional and how the dining etiquette training can help the employees to be better. First of all, let us get into the negative consequences of this issue. Lack of etiquette will reflect bad impression. An idiom said, don't judge a book by its cover because that is what people often did. I'm an employee too. We can't deny that there are people who can simply judge us without knowing our background. Our mistake is more visible than a thousand good. In this case, we, as employees who attend the event, will be observed by everyone, especially by those who are in upper position. It could be the manager or the director. Plus, we will be observed more particularly if we are attending a big event that involves joint venture with other stakeholders. A single mistake will come so much negative perception on us and our organization. It is not their fault to give such impression because as an employee, we should have the knowledge and good practice. Bad impression will then result low rates for the company. A post-mortem will be carried out after the event ended for the report purpose. This is also important for the company to analyze their deficiency and improvement planning for the upcoming event. Feedbacks were usually taken through provided from, from published to all of the attendees, either they are primary or secondary stakeholders. This is where the attendees may mark their rates and give commands. Besides, these feedbacks are important as all of the world's most successful businesses have placed a high value on customer feedback and ensuring the feedbacks they receive shape up the business model. In fact, according to PwC, more than 75% of business employees believe that feedback is incredibly valuable for any business. We are living in the new era. The evaluation process is now become easier with modern technology. It can be submitted online, so the feedbacks a risk of the company can be seen by the whole world through the website. The worst part is losing trust from everyone. An employee will lose trust from the employee just for not controlling his behavior once. It portrays unprofessionalism. This will later bring the probability of resignation. Meanwhile, the company will lose trust from business partners and stakeholders 
caused by the low rates given by the event attendees. Logically, no stakeholders such as sponsorship will go for a low rates company as they want to market their brand. We can now clearly see how a single mistake from the employees can cause so much negative impacts to themselves and their company. Are you wondering how a dining etiquette course training will help you? There are some benefits you can gain with this training. First and foremost, this course would be absolutely useful in shaping a favorable impression on you. In the first few seconds of meeting you, people get an impression of you. They assess your verbal and nonverbal signal easily to decide whether you are a likable person or not. Those ideas can be hard to change once they are formed. There is no way around that. So it's on you to nail the first impression. Plus, common sense doesn't work much in formal events because it is all about the rules implemented. So the only path is to learn and follow the rules. It may begin from such a basic action, such as sipping a soup. How would you do it? Inside out or outside in? Which of these is the right utensil to be used? Confusing, right? That's why you need to learn. When you become a favorable person, it is easy to get cooperation from others because people feel comfortable with you. Secondly, this course will help you to easily adapt to different situations besides understanding multiculture. Dining etiquette could vary among different organizations, countries, and race. Situation for every event, such as background, objective, venue, and attendees, will not be the same. For example, the Japanese will consider you as a rude person if you leave food on your plate, while the Chinese take it as a sign to the host that you're still hungry. These two communities may look alike, but they have different understanding. You may go travel to many places and meet different people, not just for working purpose, but as tourists on vacation, and you need to eat every day. It's better for you to understand cultures as a sign of respect to each other. Other than that, this training is also a platform for you to networking. As you attend this course, you will meet other participants. If you are attending this course all by yourself, you may get to know new mates. It's on you to use the opportunity to get their contact number which then might be useful. They are um, among employees too. Who knows, you can exchange ideas or perhaps work on future business plan together, right? Meanwhile, if you are attending this course with your colleagues, it is the time to strengthen the bonding. It is the time where you need to give support and learn together in enhancing skills. The vision should be the same which is to be a great employee for your company. Either you are attending the training alone or by a group, I can guarantee it will benefit you in both ways. So, my purpose has been attained. We have discussed about the consequences of not having the knowledge on proper etiquette before we move to the advantages of attending a dining etiquette training. I'm sure the consequences is not something you want to experience ever in your life. And you can now clearly see the valuable benefits you gain through this course. This is the way to help yourself. It is a need even though you are already a permanent employee. Better late than never. So, I hope that all of you are aware about this issue and 
take a chance to attend any dining etiquette training for good. Thank you.